Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R620 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on how to rack your server. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about how to rack your R620 server. Uh, do us a favor for anything that's useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, so we're going to get started. This is going to be the uh, the left rail. Um, I personally like to do this with two people. It makes it a little bit easier. Can you do it by yourself? Sure, uh, but it's definitely easier if you have uh, another person to help you. Uh, so we have one of our techs in the back here. Angel's going to help us out. So Angel, we are going to go to uh, number 13. So go ahead and grab the back. And I'm going to let him hook it in. And there's just two little uh, prongs that are on the rails themselves that will go right into here. And it'll click into place. You hear it click. So right now it is fully secure. So if I wanted to actually remove it, this blue clip, just push right here and it'll actually come back out. And then I can put it right back in if I needed to. And it clips right back in. Okay. And then once that's done, the inner rails will actually slide out. And there's two sets right here. So it'll slide out and then it'll click into place. And there's a button right here that will show you when we do the right side that will slide in and then you can click it back into place. So uh, really it's uh, that easy and uh, we got the, the rails installed. So now we'll go ahead and we'll do the right side. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the right rail next. And you'll notice it says right on the rail and you want the right to face the proper way up. So we're gonna go like this and this is the proper way. And you'll notice right here are your two prongs that we were talking about, and those two prongs are what actually go into the use. So Angel will do 13 again. Let's go ahead and put yours in first. All right, his are clipped in, so then I'm gonna come in and line it up right here for 13 and clip those in, uh, and you'll see it's fully in, and if I wanted again to take it out, the blue clip, you can remove it if just you pull the blue clip. So we'll go ahead and clip this back in, and then I'm gonna pull these inners out so that I can show you. So here's the first set, and then the second set, and right here, this button, is what you would need to click to slide this back in, okay? So now we will go ahead and actually drop our R620 in. All right, so now we're gonna actually put the 620 into the rails, so we're gonna slide our inner rails out. And as we discussed, there's actually two sets of inners, and you'll hear it click into place. Um, and within the inners, there are multiple uh, notches that are carved out uh, where you're gonna put these little rivets that stick out this is where you're going to drop them in to the uh, to the notches. So let's go ahead and line them up and we're gonna do the back one first and then kind of uh, hinge it down almost. So slide that one in, all right, perfect, and then come down. Make sure we get these all perfect into the rails. There it goes, mine are in, yours in. All right, perfect, so let's go ahead and slide it back. And actually, I should point this out, before you can slide it back, you do need to push these two buttons. So we're gonna go ahead and slide it back. And we've officially racked our R620 server. So I hope this was helpful for somebody at home. Um, if you're looking for any rail kits yourself, or if you wanna custom build an R620 or any other server for that matter, we'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Please email us at sales at cloudengine.com. That's sales at cloudengine.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys, take care.